In this country, there is no shortage of Filipino entrepreneurs who have made the Pinoy proud not only here, but in the global market as well. This week, on this segment, we have someone who has made a very profitable venture making what he himself feels most comfortable in. Flip-flops, Pinoy style. Meet Paul Nung, the youthful face behind the very popular brand, Banana Peel, that ubiquitous footwear that you can wear indoors and outdoors and be very comfortably in style. As a young man, Paul was not the shoes type, preferring the casual flip-flops especially where he grew up. But let Paul tell you briefly his life story and how his popular footwear brand came to be. I studied uh, primary and secondary school here and then migrated to Canada. And then I continued my education there, uh, studied at University of Toronto, finishing um, economics. And after that, I worked in Toronto for about three years in, I, in the IT field. And then I came back here to start this business around 02, 2002. Back when we were living in North America, we were used to the lifestyle of whenever we had the opportunity to wear flip-flops, we would just wear shorts and slippers. That was our standard outfit whenever we go out there. Um, since I was living in Toronto, it had to be weather permitting, so it had to be summertime. But then every opportunity that we got, we just wanted to be able to wear a more relaxing outfit. And it was the same thing for my wife. My wife uh, studied in uh, Berkeley in California. So since the weather there is a lot milder, it was the same thing for her before. So it was very natural for Paul to go into something he feels at home with, flip-flops. With an initial investment of only 10,000 US dollars, that time equivalent to about 500,000 pesos, he was in business. Everything is made and manufactured in China, but the design, the style, the material, it's all controlled by our in-house team here. So we have a creative team that does all the designs, local lahat yan, pati branding local. Banana Peel, the brand, somehow smacks of everything Filipino, but we nevertheless ask Paul why the name. I don't know why it started. We just thought that it was a cute name, it was something that was easy to remember. And yan, that's what we went with. Since we have a lot of ano, industry for banana, Maybe in the back of our minds, maybe ganon, because we are still here. With a track record of 14 years and still counting, this is clearly not just a fetish kind of business. The reason, we will soon find out, is their dedication and focus on the job. These sandals are manufactured in China, but everything else that goes into them are proudly Pinoy. He has his own practical reasons for having them manufactured in China and not here at home. We just noticed that it's a bit hard to work in the manufacturing industry. Um, we wanted to focus more on the branding because what we noticed is there are no local brands that really made it big. So that's, what, that's the part that we wanted, to, you know, we wanted to contribute to the country. Having the basic products made somewhere else that is not too far from home, a place where the right infrastructure is in place, makes sense for this businessman. Indeed, why put up a factory and have to contend with high labor costs on top of high power costs when it is much simpler to have the basic product shipped here and then infuse them with your own style and brand? Well, we noticed that um, with the major department stores, um, they usually carried items that were very value for money so basically um, the more basic item the cheaper the price that's what they wanted the more affordable ones that's what they wanted to carry eventually they opened their own stand-up store in market market at the time that ford bonifacio was still developing market market took note of their unique product and gave them the opportunity to have their own space in fact, Banana Peel was then the first Pinoy specialty store offering nothing but flip-flops in the country. 
Today, Banana Peel has about 26 stores all over the Philippines. They are still growing and their creative team has not stopped racking their brains for new and trendy designs. Of course, like all businesses, they have their share of challenges. One of the major things was competition. There's so many brands out there. So you always have to constantly innovate and uh, introduce yourself to the market and let them know the type of products that you carry, the quality that you carry. And um, basically that was that. And then there was another issue on the trend. Um, lately, there's been a change, slight change in trend where people are more gearing towards shoes. So those are some of the challenges that we were facing. And because Paul knows that he and his equally hardworking wife cannot afford to rest on their laurels, they continue to innovate and expand their business. They have since trained their eyes on the global market. Um, for the past uh, two years, we've started doing exports. Uh, we have been um, exporting to a lot of the island countries like Maldives. Uh, to Saipan and um, that's basically uh, the plan right now. We plan to go global. We plan to uh, create banana peel not just a local not just as a local brand but m something that everyone can recognize. Banana Peel's creative team do their own forecasts on the following year's possible trends and work from there. Paul's wife is the head of the creative team and it is her decision which designs go into production. Paul talks about their current best sellers. Best sellers right now, surprisingly, it's not the most basic ones. It's usually the ones with better material now. Yeah, like these ones. And the sandals have become a very, like, this one, we introduced it last year. This is called a Sutton. We introduced it last year. Uh, the first batch went pretty quickly. Parang less than a month, we, we were sold out with this one. Yeah, so we were, we're coming out with more sandal style uh, flip-flops. And yeah, so basically it's anything like better, better quality material. Ng, you know, um, those are usually the best sellers right now. So the best seller for ladies would be the Sutton. Um, we've been doing very well on these sandals. Uh, for the kids, we have the paprika and also the infant sandal. This is a crew and this is also very popular for the pants. So these, these would be our basics. So they, they go for about 160 pesos. Tapos, um, the ones that are on the table, like for something like this, they're around 500 something. Making sure that your quality can stand up to the quality of imported brands certainly does it for Pulse products. Pricing too is important. Positioning itself in the right segment while maintaining quality is what makes Banana Peel, the brand, stay afloat and remain profitable. We ask Paul to share his advice to would-be entrepreneurs. Uh, as I've said in the article, uh, just believe in uh, what you are doing and just keep at it. And also, you also have to have good people in your company to be able to help you with, uh, with your growth. And for those who would like to view more of their design on the web, here's where to go. Uh, for more information, you can reach us at, uh, you can check out our website at www.bananapeel.net or our Facebook account, Banana Peel Flip Flops, or Instagram, Banana Peel OFCL. Thank you. The Banana Peel is one of the most recognizable Filipino brands here at home where most everyone loves to go to the beach or just wear comfortable sandals wherever we go.